everybody, Glitch Reaper here. I'm back in the ether. I'm starting off again with another boss battle. It's the Sun Spirit uh, this time, and you may be wondering, where's the Sun Spirit? Well, yeah, he he it pulled an inverse ostrich. Uh, okay, what was happening is I was just kind of going over some recipes. And then a creep showed up and literally exploded him into the ceiling. It was incredibly dramatic. <laughs> so, yeah, that 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 happened. The thing is, I'm wondering if I engage with him, um, will he be flying around at that height, or will he be will he be uh like uh will he reset the distance? I I'm not sure. It's gonna perform a very special experiment. But then that happened. Um, well, while I'm here, I might as well grab some crystals. These, unlike normal harvesting, I'm just going to take all of them. Because there's a good chance that they'll get blown up anyhow. So, yeah, I I'm just going to grab all that. Before I do the fight. Because this is one of those circumstances where I'm not sure if there'd be any way to ensure their safety. I really need to go over my money again sometime soon. Now, in case, and I mean in case, it doesn't reset his height, I've got a plan. I'd, I'd use the living matter, uh, uh, the living matter manipulator uh, from Inter Utilities to reset his height. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. My plan was to use my uh, my samurai sword here as uh, a way of trying to knock around the projectiles. Uh, so basically, this is the cool Tetsu uh, or cool Tetsui experiment, which is a very special name in and of itself because it that sounds like it's appropriate to samurai. So I'm glad to know somebody with that. Uh, kind of name actually. Now the thing is I'm going to make sure I have a little chorus fruit in case something goes wrong and I get trapped because I don't think that I'm forbidden from teleporting out even though it kind of closes the gate. So just in case I have that too. So I'm going to see if I can provoke them. I can even talk with them like this. Oh, okay I can, barely. Um, will I be able to engage? Sorry for the adjustment. Hello? Will you fly down, please? I'm kind of curious how this is going to work. You're still at the same height. Hello? Got an interesting conversation going. I, I don't know if I'll be able to fight this height because I don't know if the... Anything will hit him or not. Uh, so this is a, a good question. Uh, although admittedly, when this first started, I had no idea that he could uh, uh, clip through blocks. And it's not resetting his height. Hello? <laughs> uh, doesn't seem to be moving either. Um, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to, like, assist you. Can I move you? Please say, okay, thank goodness I can move you. Okay, let's do this fight properly. Well, it's weird is because he didn't fully engage that was, or is that because I grabbed him? Now that reset the whole thing. Wait. If I've got them active and I grab that, does it reset the doors? Because and and you can't fully spam this. Might I add, like you can't accelerate the conversation. Just 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 saying.
Okay, yeah, he was supposed to do that. That is his last... Okay. Sword. Special sword. Eternal white. Okay, I can, I can bounce those things around too. Interesting. Okay, so that does work. Wait. So I can shield against that with those, even though it doesn't negate them completely. Oh, and that has range with that too. I can't get past this defense with this, but I can get past these things. Okay, I can do that at a distance, that's interesting. Fire Brigade again. Okay. Oi. Gotcha. That was a good charge in. That really works well on the minions to keep them at bay. Hoi. Did I accidentally hit him again and not even realize it? Because I got two of these. Oh, that's the same one. Okay. Almost hit him that way. Not quite. Okay, so I've only really hit him once. Almost got him with it. Oh, almost got a pretty distant shot. This is actually a pretty good method. I, I'm liking how this is going. Thanks, Clue, for the idea. Just use the samurai sword. Though, admittedly, there's certain advantages to using the uh, lance. Fending off these. In the end again. Did I hit? Okay, I did hit him with one. Maybe an incidental shot, which is pretty cool. Got one in randomly. Oh, I almost deflected that one. This actually really makes things interesting. Oh, can I get up? Oh, I can double boost it if I hit it within the right timing. Oh, okay, that was perfect. Right point blank to him. Wait, 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 wait. Just stay down. Oh, that was close. Wait. these off. Oh, that almost worked again. Perfect shot. Wouldn't be what I was really trying to focus on, but whatever works. This is interesting how it interacts, though. I mean, I, I'm not poofing them. I'm I'm sending them on their way. Okay. Whee, that guy's movement is interesting to deal with. Okay. 
Line up. Oh, almost got him. I only need to have so many hits in. But it must be the ice ones. There's one. Oh, really? That was close. Heard it. Almost. Not quite. Go in between them. Oh, that went way off. I wonder if you can hit the ice ones with the fiery ones. Oh boy. Jumps with that, they are awesome. On, let me have the ice eagle shot. Nope. Really have depleted him pretty far though, he's halfway. Ouch. Almost got him on that one. Best luck is at point blank range, but sometimes even that doesn't work. Oop, nope, not that time. Almost got him. You put out these fires. Okay, fire brigade status definitely still going. I hit it from behind him. Right next to him. Wasn't able to redirect it. Quit! Wrong way. Come on. Come on, Sun Spirit. Nope, nope. Just stay here for a moment. Slashing away, waiting for a shot. Gotcha. Sometimes it is about patience. Corner. Oh, more than one. Ouch. 
bouncing me around here. Oh, almost got him. Uh, it's curving a bit more. It was going straighter before. Ish. Oh, that was narrow. Thought I got him with the way that did. That worked, however. Got him in a good back attack. Those minions. At least they just melee. Come on. Ouch. Walked right into him, rather than under him. Okay, missed me. Oh, that was so narrow. That was so narrow. I got him down to. Oh, yeah, I think he's only got a couple hits left. Oh, that was close. If only it hit right timing, I would have nailed him on that one. So I had the alignment, but the sword didn't go at just the right time. Come on, Sun Spirit, let me. Gotcha. Come on, got one more hit. One more hit, then you're iced out. Oh, I swipe both of them at the same time. Okay. So don't want any loot to burn if I can avoid it. Close, but my jump was a little too strong. Come on. Wasn't in front of it at the time. Miss me, come on. We get to that. Oh, 
almost, almost, uh, almost, uh, backslashed it. But, at least I know I can move him if he gets stuck in the ceiling again. That was weird. <laughs> Too wide. He's too far away. Oops. Ran into it. Nearly finished. Gotcha. Just need to finish off this little thing. Come on, last minion. Gotcha. Oh, in a book. Mind trick. Okay, that's one I've already identified. Enchantment Magnetic, is that one that I've already gotten or not? Yeah, it's one I've already got. I got most of them. Okay, so I'm gonna have to throw some of the extra stuff. Well, I know where I got my things, so... Okay... Okay, so I got that put up there. I got that put up there. It's for ether stuff, so let's see what all I got in my uh, new loot. The escape route was not necessary. I did not need to escape. That, w that was a good thing to know. Obsidian chest plate. Three of them. Uh, this is ether legacy version. This is not the ones from block armor. That stuff is pretty tough, although I got the chest plate three times over. <laughs> Life shards. They don't stack, but they won't need to for long because I'm just going to use them. So I get myself some extra health. It's like three life shards I've had, actually. So that's actually been pretty good. Uh, wow. I do have this area already marked uh, on my advanced ender porter. It's, uh, what am I hearing? Never mind. Uh, I've got it marked as Sun Spirit 3, so I kind of prepared for this occasion. So I should be good on that right about now. However, the big thing is because my experience has risen high enough, I've got an interesting thing I'd like to try first. I can always come back here and continue the journey looking to complete my various sets. Although for right now I could just put some of these uh, over here. <laughs> what are the odds of finding three of them in one shot? Seriously. That, that, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Oh well, I, I got them now, so that, that, that's what's good. Okay, now let's see here. Okay, I need to go to the dragon lair. Yep, powering up. Zip. That was a long fight compared to normal. It did it had a, a lot of different luck with that one. Uh, I'm still pondering whether to go heavily with the uh, lance or with the slash blade. Okay. Here's the thing. There's this sword embedded here, and I'm wondering if that's responsible for where my dragon egg went. So, there's that. Uh, let me, uh, let me just cobble this over for a moment. Just to ensure that I don't have something going up. Oh, oh that, that, uh, 
that uh, Ender Dragon Girl is having some technical difficulties with a uh, Ender Lily. So that was random. Okay, now there's no way. Oops. Oh well, I'll I'll smash it all back anyhow. There's no way this will be falling into there. This should be a very special slash blade sword. Okay, now earlier whenever I tried this, it told me I needed level 30. So now I can take this sword and see how that works. The broken Yamato. It is sealed. Uh, so it won't be as powerful as it could be, although you can see it's it might be a bit uh, different. Hmm. Wow, it, 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 it really needs to be unsealed. I think I need to give it a scabbard as part of the unsealing process. I think that's how that goes. Let me look in the achievements for a moment. Uh, I think this is a special set. Come on, where is it? Is it even in here specifically? So I have the broken Yamato. It is a very special sword. Oh yeah, that's right, my achievements reset. Uh huh. Okay, that that's. And I re got some of them, but is it that that happened, or is it that they just didn't go up properly? Which would be weird. Rust edge. I need to improve it somehow. Okay, so it doesn't have this part in it here. That could be a problem. I mean, it's kind of a unique blade. It's not normal. So, yeah. Because I got it specifically due to boss fightness. Only I just finally picked it up. Now the thing is, if I'm right and I go back to the overworld, I might try getting to origin point, which is point zero zero, finding out if the dragon egg happened to have actually landed on that, broke into item form, and then simply dropped down here somehow. Because that's what makes a lot of sense to me. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to track the origin point. So, do I have any others that I need to break? No, this, this, this will be the last one, so I should be fine. Okay. Boop. There we go. Because <laughs> I'm very curious if it may have did that. Because it, 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 it's a weird little thing. But it might be that it's an entity that counts. Oh! Hello there. Heh, <laughs> came in when it was raining. Okay, let me see. What are my coordinates here? No, I need to go down. Okay, so this way? Okay, so if I got both points going down, I should be able to find point zero zero and locate where it probably would have shown up. Because that's where by default things go other than players. Because players have the ability to set their spawn uh darn lips. Players have the ability to set their spawn point via bed. 
uh, items and other entities do not. So they'll show up at spawn point of your world. Usually, like by default, they'll actually show like dead center rather than where you actually spawn because where you actually spawn is sometimes determined differently. I'm not seeing it around here, so I may still have to search for a dragon egg another way. Now, if I defeat another ender dragon, will it uh, give me another one of those swords, or will it have the dragon egg? Because I've got things set up so that I should be able to get dragon eggs over and over. Because that's how the... That's how the uh, settings with... Uh, with the Voidcraft's dependency work, like if you have that there, you can just, uh, which is uh, temodized, then you can just tell it to uh, keep giving you dragon eggs every time you beat the dragon. So it's a simple thing, but it's not going over that way. So that's kind of weird. Okay, so this is over there, so I need to uh, zip back the other way. Of course, I do have my teleporter I can use. I can just settle down for a moment. Because that should have been a bit different. Okay... Hi. Sorry, it's our uh, spot. Can I rest now? Oh, there's monsters I need to defeat. Just a moment while I take out uh, my uh, plastic one here. Actually, this works so much better. Oh, there really are a ton of you. Okay, now I'm going back to area slice. really forced me to go all out, didn't they? Ah, <laughs> uh, at least I got my uh, bed set up in other ways, so everything is fine. Should clear up in a moment? There we go. The thing is, I was trying to... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give them the, the moment. No. I'm, I'm just not gonna let them. I'm not gonna let them. Uh, thing is, uh, after doing that fight, I was going to uh, set up for being able to uh, do more of the Nether Fortress, and for that I needed to get myself a nice cleaver, or something similar. I might do the Botania route, because there is a, uh, uh, there is an axe that lets you do something like that, so yeah. Okay, now do I have a place where I have a... Uh, Okay, I have a pattern chest. I, s I need some very large things. I don't think I had that in here. Hehehe. <laughs> There's no door for them to go in anymore. I, 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 I replaced it with ineffable glass. Uh, the one in the back's still there, but eh. Okay, so let me see. Do I have my Tinker's book in here? I don't? I put my Tinker's book, or do I... Oh wait, that's right, I, I put it in with my various books. So that would be in here. Uh, that is a nearly indestructible uh, window. You're, you're not getting in, so... Yeah. There's that. I'll sort out some other things later, but what I need is this book because I need to remind myself what I need to make a cleaver. Okay, let me see, cleaver. I need the 
I think that's the large blade. I need some tough tool bindings and a full on metal plate. Okay. So that would be good, because they have default beheading, so they're good for getting wither skeleton skulls. This won't take too terribly long to cast once I have everything together. Because I just need to get some... Well, actually, I do need to sort some stuff out. Otherwise, I'm going to get a little loaded. So put that there. Let's see, do I have the, the book there? Put this here for now. If only I knew some traders that get or the trade for berry coins, I would be much, much nicer. That would be very cool. But I haven't found any from the mod that let you do that yet. But if so, that would be very cool. Ah, oh, old roots. Got any in here, or do I have that with the miscellaneous magic stuff? Okay, so that gives me a little room to work with patterns. Because I need some patterns. Okay, I have sword blade, binding, pickaxe, pan, wide guard, axe head, shovel, tool rod. Okay, I need the stencil table. Oh! Let's see, large sword blade. Large plate. Uh, this one tough tool rod. That exactly took those out. Um. <laughs> okay. I just need something to make all these things, and then I can have them cast. So all I need is uh, some bones or something like that. Uh, see, some of these take more materials than others, so start with 16 bones. Let me see, 3, 8, so that's 11. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need uh, 3 more, just to get the things cast right. Okay, because I need to make the parts in the part builder. Oops, clicked the wrong one. Bone large plate. Bone large blade. I might add I can switch out materials later, so no problem. Bone tough rod. Okay, stencil table. Nope. Tool station, crafting. Okay, I need to get casts of all these. Okay, okay, that that that's good. I have that already set up. That's very nice. So I'll get this out of my way for now. And now I'll be able to cast various parts. Do I have enough power? Okay, I'm out of lava. But that'll be fine. Because I can always make some more. Ah, ah. Ah, it's definitely one of the most important things that you can use for uh, charging up your <laughs> system is lava. If those guys annoy me, they're so gone. Okay, let me see here. I need also a good amount of gold. I think it's still one ingot per cast. Okay, and I'm gonna make my uh, my my cleaver out of various things actually, because I know there's certain materials I'd like to try to use. And some modifiers I can get later. But some I'd like to try to get in if I can. Uh, let me see here. I, oh, I was going to get some variation of steel or something. 
Well, as I said before, I can swap out parts in this version, so that that's particularly useful. So I, I won't need to do everything immediately. Let's see, firewood auto smelt. Okay, so that's not gonna like incinerate stuff like I was thinking. I thought it would give a fiery trait. That would've been a good thing to have as an additional thing. Magma slime. Uh, blocking. Uh, uh, that's only if it's blocking. So that's good for a shield. Okay, so that's not what I'm after. Cause I, I, I definitely want Coralium as my main blade. Uh, see, I'm not gonna be fighting Endermen with it for the heads right now because I don't think they even have them right around here. Bonus damage to non-Nether mobs. That would be very bad to use. So no. Oh wait, I was doing bow materials. I needed to do something else. Tool materials, okay. Okay, so... I'm seeing the wrong thing. Superheat. Still wouldn't really set them on fire. Fire wood. It only has auto smelt. See, I was trying to get something made out of... Uh, steel, but I don't have anything that'll actually work that way. Lead poisonous poisons enemy on hit for everything. Oh yeah, that was one of my four materials. I was gonna try to have something that used four parts, so that I could create a tool that had like four plus special uh, abilities that it unleashed at once. That would have been very cool. Uh, so do I have any lead, or did I scan any? Because it's, it's not that way. Let's see, where is my minerals? That's my minerals chest. Did I ever find any lead? I'm gonna have to see. Did I find any lead, or will I have to go for it? No, I got a lead. <laughs> Lead and lead are spelled about the same, actually, so it should have shown that up. Because if I just go L, if I just go uh, L E, and I'm not getting any ingots or anything like that. So, not here. Uh, I may have to go mining just before I can get my my cleaver. I mean, I again, I could swap out parts. Okay, I think I'm going to do that way. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it made entirely out of Coralium now. Maybe a few other things, like maybe I'll make part of it out of... Oh. Time is happening again. Like, maybe I'll make part of it out of uh, wood so it self-repairs. And the other parts I can make out of Coralium to make sure that I have the ability to do everything. Okay, so I I just smelt some of that. And then I should be able to make it with these different types of castings. Because you put your part in that you've already made from using the uh, normal setup. And then you put it in here, and then it melts down. Uh, well, the, the gold melts down. You pour the gold over the part, it burns up the the part, and then you get the mold that you can use, which is the casting. Now you can use the casting to get things made out of molten metals and other molten materials. So the smeltery and your whole tool station setup goes together. Well, bell, part builder. So I'm trying to tinker, I need to do the right things. Okay, I have gold, so let's make the large plate first. This should burn up the part, I think. Yeah, it burned up the part, so I don't have to worry about that in space. Is it more ingots now? Oh, it's more ingots now. Okay, so it's like two. It used to be one. It's one to complete it, two more for the next. OK, 
because it used to be just one each. And I should be able to have myself a good cleaver. At least gold has a low melting point. I mean, that's actually it. Oh, darn, darn lips. That's accurate. That is it. Uh, gold has a low melting point, so it goes down pretty easily. So we got that going. I might actually do wood for the tool rod. Not 100% sure. Just for now. I could, again, I could swap out later, but I'll need the cast either way. Okay, so I need the cleaver because that's two tough tool rods. That, that okay, so I need to get myself a bit of wood, and I can use corallium for the other parts for now. Anyhow, well, I guess because I'm trying to gather some things, I could use iron instead, actually, because iron has magnetic. That lets it pull things to you. And that's kind of useful when you're trying to grab loot from enemies. So I'm going to try to do that for now, and whenever I swap it out later, then it should be able to help me out that way. At least these two materials I know don't alloy. Oh, that's melting pretty quickly too. That's nice. In that case, I should definitely grab my planks. Because if I'm going to be doing it this way, I'm going to need uh, to see how much does the tough tool. Okay, that just costs three, so. So I think this runs off planks. In terms of what is considering the unit. I could make a bigger smeltery though. That, that's something I could definitely do. I could I could definitely improve the size. So let me just make myself a few extra seared bricks. Okay, lag. That's already melted, but you get the idea. I just need a little extra room. Okay, I have eight ingots worth, and I think I want the, the main plate to work, because I think it can be any part that has this property. Well, let me see here. Okay, cleaver, yeah, yeah. Let's see, tool materials. Let's see. Iron doesn't have a variation, right? It's just magnetic everything. Well, at the head, I get magnetic too, temporarily, because again, I'll substitute that later. So. I think corallium is. Corallium plagued for everything. Now, for a modifier, one thing I want to do is I want to do shulking because it causes enemies to uh, fall up <laughs> uh, so all I need to do is give it a pop chorus fruit for that and then things get funny and I might give it some other ones that uh, grant various uh, ailments on my enemies because I definitely want it to be kind of insane that way okay so uh, I need it to be the large sword is the kind of the performance part here. So I need to make sure I have iron. That's my main thing, so click that, pour that in, and then I should have myself a very nice new sword head made out of iron. Please come on, pour, 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 pour. Oh, it's going to take a little while to cool. Um, Now that's going to take so long that maybe the next one while I'm waiting, I'll, I'll just go ahead and make my, uh, my tough tool rod in advance. OK, 
Because this is going to take a while. Okay, you just pour for a while. Okay, I'm going to use... You see, I need my part builder. I need this. I need tough tool rod. Here, because I need two of these. I just need one uh, large sword plate, and I need uh, one large plate to construct this. Now, do I have my tool forge made though? Because I'm trying to remember if I've made that yet. I think I put it back here. So no, I'm thinking of the other world. Oops. <laughs> uh, I need to make my tool forge. Yeah. Okay, forge. Which one do I want the most? Uh, it kind of has them assigned different ways. There, no, there's nothing made of simple materials. It's all metals. Because I'll have to go with blocks of iron. I mean, uh, let me see. Four blocks of iron, three of those, tool station. I might just have enough. Well, actually, if you're thinking about it, the crafting station will maintain itself. So I don't have to really worry about it. Because it's not like my inventory is going to be an issue whenever I can put stuff in here. Because it will store it for me. So I need one of these. Oops. Come on, a little unstable. Wasn't it crafting station? Wasn't it crafting station? Oh no no, it's tool station. Okay. I thought it was crafting station, but no, it's tool station. I was I thinking that? Though admittedly that's what you originally start out with, but then but that's not what you make your tools with, so yeah. So I I had a thing with that. Okay, so let's improve this another time. Hit him. Uh, where to put this? Because this doesn't entirely need to connect. But I think I will inhale. Yeah, it all connects. Okay, so let me see here. I want myself a big cleaver. So that'll be magnetic. Plates. And I'll eventually make this other ways. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, now I have that ready. I think I can add parts on that directly. In certain ways, although I do need to get something here. Okay, popped. I wonder how many... Well, I can add additional levels of this ability later. Oh, I can add up to 50 of them? Hmm, didn't realize that. I thought it would just be like a one thing. There are some like that, so... Okay, so I, I do that. And I can add all at once, because in Tinker's Construct 2, you can add all of something that you need at a time. Okay, so I will take that. Now it has Shulking and it's Kralium Plague. My armor will protect me from the Kralium Plague. That's a very special thing about having plated Kralium armor. That you are protected from the plague. So this weapon will behead, plague things, uh, is magnetic, will self-repair over time because of its ecological trait, and will 
Let my enemies just fly upwards. Oh, now I remember something else I was going to put on it. Oh, silly me. I was going to I was going to give it a piston for knockback. Okay. Uh, just in case it can take more than a level. Hmm. Okay, so that can take up to 10. So I want to fling things while debilitating them. Now that might not seem like the best idea when it comes to taking heads, but you'd be surprised how many times a wall is involved, so I think I'll be fine. So this thing is going to be just wicked eventually. I'm going to have to name this something awesome eventually. Oh, I whiffed. There. Okay. Just a moment. I need to... Oh, they're right outside my door. And they're right outside. Wow, that deals a lot of damage. I found a way to get rid of our problem. <laughs> Slice. I mean, seriously, that, that, that this thing chops. Oh, gosh. I, I definitely need to rename this something cool. I mean, the Corallium Cleaver was something I was already thinking of, but... Uh... Okay, okay. Be because of how much power that is, it needs a cooler name than just Corallium Cleaver. So now, from now on, is Chopper DX. <laughs> Wait, did I have to do that initially or not? Oh, did I miss an opportunity? Do I have to confirm? Maybe I have to do something at the same time just to make sure that it goes through. Hmm, I usually wouldn't use a little bit like this, but I can repair and rename at the same time, so maybe I have to do it that way. Because before you could do this without having to worry about it. Oh, it would come out the same. Seriously, I want to rename this. Why won't you rename? Okay, there it's doing it. There it's doing it. Okay, I just had to click enter, I think. So now I could do it that way. So, over time this thing will be a lot better. So I have Chopper DX. <laughs> I, I, I could add more levels of beheading as a modifier, but I'd rather just uh, leave it at this and have all sorts of other abilities so that Chopper DX becomes the true Chopper Deluxe and will have all sorts of incredibly dangerous abilities. So, yeah, that's kind of a preview. Uh, I'll put these here for now. I need a separate chest for these because they don't go into pattern chests right. So, I, I can't put them up. So, yeah, there's that. Anyhow, I guess next time I'll be, well, Oh, wow, that, that looks pretty cool. Anyhow, I guess I'll be uh, hunting for uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls off screen so I can finally get myself that Nether Star. Additionally, I found out something else really close to the uh, Nether uh, Fortress that I will be showing off later. So that'll be pretty cool. But hey, I defeated a Sun Spirit. I got myself this really cool uh, cleaver that I'll be uh, using to increase my, uh, my choppage. And uh, I'll make it even more disastrous over time. And this thing is going to be wicked whenever I'm through with it. Seriously, it it really will be. <laughs> okay, well, enough of that for now. Anyhow, this has been Glitch Reaper, and I'm signing off for now. So hope to hear from you all later, and bye for now, everybody.